Today I want to talk about hydrocephalus, uh, share with you what it is, symptoms, as well as uh, treatment ideas. Uh, before I begin, uh, down below there's a link. If you click on it, I'm giving away a free video guide about uh, dietary supplements as well as alternative medicines. Now hydro means water, cephalus is head, so this condition is where there's too much water in the head. Now we need some fluids in the head because, well, it kind of cushions our brain, uh, it's used to transport nutrients uh, to the brain and remove waste. But when there's too much, that's not good because it puts too much pressure on the brain. Now with young babies, since their skull is still developing, if they get hydrocephalus, well, their head can kind of get bigger because their skull is kind of weak um, and that's definitely a symptom. Now with adults, that's just not going to happen because our skulls are very strong um, and in some ways it actually is a little bit more deadlier because it, it just puts more pressure on the brain more quicker. So this definitely could be a life-threatening um, uh, problem with adults uh, especially, even quicker. Now other signs to look out for when it comes to babies uh, would be say like a bulging on a spot at the very top of the head. Um, there could be uh, vomiting, ex excess sleeping, uh, seizures, irritability, of course other issues would be like problems with attention, um, development problems would be signs as well. Now with adults, symptoms could be, well, a lot of head pain, uh, trouble staying awake, just wanting to sleep. Uh, there could be problems with, your, with the balance, um, with their bladder, bladder issues, vision problems, memory, of course, seizures, uh, those are all symptoms. Now, the smartest people in the medical industry have been trying to figure out what's causing it, to, particularly in babies, uh, so that we can prevent it. Now, scientists know that this problem when it comes to when it comes to babies have been linked to uh, bleeding events in the development of the brain. Um, with babies, but the reason that's kind of connected uh, with this condition is really kind of unknown. Um, however, good news is a study published in the journal Science Daily may have really found the answer on what was causing it. Um, Hydrocephalus uh, can be triggered by abnormal levels of something known as LPA, which is like a blood-borne lipid uh, that can enter the brain in high concentrations uh, when there's when there's bleeding going on in, in the head region. Now this LPA is involved in blood clotting, so you can see there's like a there's like the connection. Um, it can kind of block the fluid from leaving the brain, thus create too much fluid in the head. In fact, in the study, scientists actually injected mice uh, with high levels of LPA and they noticed um, hydrocephalus was created. Now the good news is that if a baby's at risk, they actually have a drug now that can reduce these high LPA levels and thus help reduce the chance of well, this condition of having too much fluid in the, in the head region. Um, now, there, there's, that's, one, that's one cause. That's definitely the most common one. But there's other ones too, like, for example, inflammation, maybe a head trauma or injury, uh, especially with adults, um, could cause it as well, um, as well as an issue with overproduction of the fluids. But, I mean, again, the most common reason is because fluid can't leave the head region. Now, when it comes to treatment, the most common one is, is of course, surgery. Uh, when it comes to alternative medicine, uh, there have been cases when using something called Cilicia has been successful. Cilicia is a homeopathic uh, medicine that's used to treat a variety of health problems. Um, another idea would, of course, be removing toxins from the body um, could be helpful as well, um, such as sarsaparilla, beetroot, beetroot as well. Uh, if you want to get some more ideas on alternative medicine um, as well as uh, dietary supplements, I highly encourage you to click the link below. Check out a free video guide I created. Uh, I go over supplements in a lot more detail, uh, even comparing them back to back, giving you the ones I like. I go over alternative medicine too, um, how we could solve various health problems, tons of health problems and what alternative medicine could be used, as well as herbs. I talk about that as well a lot. Um, so it's completely free. Um, and if you want to check it out, just click on the link below. Anyways, I hope this video might have been useful to some people out there. Uh, if you liked it, hit the thumbs up button and have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care.